be making basics. What's going on YouTube? Beat Making Basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe as well as give me a thumbs up. Let me come on back to Back With Bangers. Now today's video, I'm gonna be going over how to make trap drums in Logic Pro 10, and this is gonna be the 2022 uh, version, um, or 2022 version, okay? I did a video like this last year, and I wanted to just go ahead and follow up um, and show us some new things here about making trap drums in Logic Pro 10. Uh, so let me just first off just let you hear this basic loop that I have here um, So let's just check that out first All right, bet. so that's the loop that we're gonna be um, adding some drums to so the first thing I'm gonna recommend that we do is just actually go here to the scissors create a software instrument track and then under instrument, we're gonna go to quick samplers midway down if you're new, all right? Um, for those who are brand new to Logic Pro 10, basically you could drag and drop files anywhere on the computer into here. And then once you drag and drop them, you can actually come over here to your factor default and do a save as, and then you'll have your sounds down here. So I'm gonna actually start off with a clap here and we'll start adding some sounds in later so you can see that whole process. But this is a, this is a trap clap. I have uh, a MIDI keyboard that I'm using, and so let me just show you that. All right. I also push uh, Command K to turn on musical typing. And what I'm actually going to do is instead of using the MIDI keyboard and the piano roll, we're actually going to use the step sequencer. And uh, for a clap pattern, you're either going to do like put a clap right here and right here, okay, or depending on how fast your beat is, you might put it just right here, all right? So like, for instance, if this BPM is like 160, 140-ish, then I would only have to put one clap, but because it's so slow, or not slow, but you know, it's only 95, I'm gonna have to put the claps right here. But it's still, even though, even then, I'm only pressed two notes, or you know, typed in two notes right here, right here, so count four, one, two, three, four, then you have three right here, and then four right here, so that's seven, and then count right, boom. All right. That clap is really gonna be the main thing that's gonna help, you know, get your drum started. Second thing I'm gonna do is we're gonna add the hi-hat, okay? So what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and repeat this process, actually, and I'll show you how to just drag and drop a sound in here, save it, different things like that. So we got the software instrument track, um, quick sampler, I got the stereo there, push create, or you can do mono. And let's just say if we went to like splice or something like that, let's let's grab that. I know yeah, by now y'all like, man, splice is your favorite thing to use. But, you know, there's a lot of great ways to get sounds. You know, I have a, a variety of different things. You know, my own kits, we have, uh, you know, kits that I've purchased, different things like that. But splice is a good resource too. All right, so I'm gonna grab this one right here. And so what I would do is just drag it right here, just drag and drop. And once I have that in here, um, I have this option right here. Now, this is where the sauce is gonna come in, okay? For a hi-hat pattern, instead of doing 16 steps, um, <laughs> my bad, y'all. So instead of doing 16 steps here, we're gonna do 64 steps, okay? And this is gonna help you to have a little bit more control over your hi-hat pattern. And then one uh, key thing in here is if you actually click on this guy right here, you can actually have several different options to manipulate your trap hi-hats, snares, whatever, right here. So like first thing you see is a velocity setting here. Instead of, instead of gate, I can come over here and maybe do like note and maybe I can do note repeat right here. And then this just makes it easy to edit on the fly instead of having to come in here and swap it right here. So like normally I would have to come here, swap it, everything like that. But if you push the arrow down, you know, you'll you'll have these options and we can start making our beat this way. Um, you do have to have the latest version of Logic Pro 10.7. Uh, so make sure you get the the the, the 
the latest version if you don't already have that. But anyway, let's go ahead and start, um, you know, putting these um, putting these beat these uh, notes in here. So I usually just start off with a simple pattern. Now, if you don't want to do it all the way like this, you can start off here at the 16 steps and then take it to the 64 steps and it easily just goes ahead and puts it all the way through. So let's just listen to that. All right, back. So it's, it sounds dope just with the simple pattern right here, but say if we want to go ahead and get a little more um, fancy. Maybe we can come in here and do this, use this note repeat like that. And say if you want to focus on like one part, like I can take this loop and just put it just for this part and it's going to just focus on this. So anyway, that's our hi-hats right here. So now we got this. Okay, so now that we have our clap and our hi-hat, the next thing I would say is go ahead and throw in a snare. Um, I actually already have a snare right in here, so I'm just going to go ahead and use that instead of looking for one exhaustively. So. We'll come over here, same difference here. One thing you could also do is create a MIDI region, I mean a pattern region. Just right click and then create that. And then I can come over here and uh, start to put that pattern in there. You can also do 32 steps. It helps you get like a more, you know, something that's not super simple of a pattern, but just a little bit more complex. So we'll use 32. And then also make sure you pay attention to this little white outline on this uh these steps if you follow that as the music's going you'll kind of see where you should put your you know your notes you can come over here and use some of those same techniques to you know doctor this stuff up as well so like I can come over here and change some of the stuff I got velocity we can do note we can do the note repeat and let's let's take, see what we can do now <laughs> Stuff like that. 
Um, and then let's go ahead and start with a kick drum. I'm actually gonna go ahead and use a kick drum I already saved in here. And what I'll do is, actually, you know what we're gonna do, instead of using a kick drum I actually saved in, I'm gonna show y'all real quick how to drag and drop your sounds in here and save it, just the whole process of what it looks like. So I'm gonna go in here, and we'll find a kick drum um, and see what we can do to make this beat uh, finished. Let's just go ahead and get that clicks right there. So a lot of these kicks are not really smacking like you want, want, want them to. But let's just bring this one in. I like this. I'm just going to take it and drag this one on in here. And it's going to be the same process. So I can come over here and we can do certain things. Like I said, we could do like a velocity, different stuff like that. Um, yeah, We can move this stuff around as well. We're really not going to need like note repeat and all that stuff too much on this one, but we can still put it on here. But let's just go ahead and lay this pattern down as well. And usually for my kick patterns, I like to keep things pretty simple. So we'll do the, uh, 32 steps, not too basic at the 16 steps, 32 steps. And then 64 steps is going to really help you make a really dead pattern. But we're going to keep it simple, mid simple with uh, 32 steps. So let's go ahead and add this stuff in. So we have uh, that kick drum in here now. Let me go ahead and also show you quickly how you would save it. Again, just go over here to where you say see factory default and we'll just say save as. And I can just say hard trap kick zero one and do something like that. And now anytime I wanna pull that kick up, I can just go ahead and do software instrument track, uh, quick sampler and do this load it we can load it like this but usually it's right here all the sounds that you say so if i know a hard trap kit there you go so that's how you do that last thing we need to do to this beat is add an 808 and what i'm going to do is instead of actually finding an 808 i'm going to use one of the ones we already have here and i'm just going to keep, keep on going with that same process excuse me um use this one right here um, for the 808 you can go ahead and push this 808 right here in the step sequencer but sometimes this um, piano roll might be a little bit easier and really low-key what I would do is recommend going ahead and playing the 808 with your MIDI keyboard and then fixing it in the piano roll so I'll do something simple and you want to find like what cadence your loop is or your melody is and make sure your 808 is matching up And obviously we're gonna have to mix this so it's not like, you know what I'm saying? Popping in the red right there. up a little bit but it's all good now I just quantitize this basically I did man a to highlight everything and we'll come over here and do like 1 over 16 swing a 
and quantize that. And then I could also go ahead and do Force Legato. Let's see what that sounds like. And so the parts that we messed up on. this I'm holding down option and just dragging this over it's making a copy so that's pretty much it man um, that's pretty much what I wanted to show y'all right here in logic pro 10 I appreciate y'all watching if you like this beat, give me a thumbs up. If you like this tutorial, give me a thumbs up. Also, leave me something in the comments to let me know what you want to hear next or if you like the beat or whatever your comment is. Um, I also have my site that you can go to. Go to beatmakingbasics.com. Go ahead and invest in yourself. I have full video courses that you can download. Pretty inexpensive, man. Something that you can get in there and get the game that you need. I know I give a lot of information here on YouTube, but check this out, y'all. If you really want to go even further in depth, you want to get grab one of the courses because I, you know, this is like literally hours and hours of content with a curriculum right there for you to pick out and you know take it your own leisure. You don't need the internet after you download the course. There's a kind of a lot of benefits to doing it that way. But check out the site. We have a lot of great things. You can get loop packs. We also have our one-on-one -on -one lessons you can do, okay? basically book time and do a zoom call with me and then um, i'll do my best to answer your questions that way as well